Fall is the season for brisk weather, football games, and another opportunity to have a nice dinner by the fireplace. Nothing goes better with all of this than a good cigar. Out of the hundreds of cigars to choose from, I met up with cigar expert Victoria McKee of the General Cigars Company. We met at Club Macanudo, one of my favorite cigar hangouts in the city. So I'm excited to talk to you about the cigars we have here today. First one is Macanudo Cru Royale. This is kind of a new cigar for Macanudo. Macanudo is the best-selling handmade cigar in the U.S. And this is a really true medium-bodied cigar. When you look at this cigar, you see the outermost wrapping, the outermost leaf, I should say, the wrapper, is darker in color. It's right. called, uh, it's from Ecuador. It's an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. And it's got some exotic tobacco in it, even Brazilian tobacco, which you don't hear very often. It is an excellent cigar for tailgating, for anything that you're gonna do in the fall. It's, it's perfect, very complex, great flavor. Now, a lot of the mediums uh, bodied are usually not this dark, right? More full bodies are dark. It depends. It depends on, on a couple of things. We can mm -hmm. talk about that next with Cohiba, okay, if you like. Okay, great. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is Cohiba. This is Cohiba Black. And you look and you see that the wrapper is, is dark. So this is a Maduro wrapper from Connecticut called Connecticut Broadleaf. And some people think, well, this is a dark wrapper. It's going to be really strong. It's actually not that strong. This is really? a medium-bodied okay. smoke. A lot of times with the Maduro wrappers, um, the tobacco is processed differently. It's cured. So you almost get a slight sweetness and, and kind of an earthy flavor with, with a darker cigar. So don't always judge a book by the color with this one. How are you able to tell the strength of the cigar just by looking at it? Can you, you or is can, that not can't. possible? No, and some people I find will maybe, you know, pick the cigar up and smell it. I don't think that's going to really give you the, uh, the information you're looking for just by smelling. You really would ask somebody else, you would ask somebody, let's say you're in a cigar store, you can ask the tobacconist and say, I'd like something medium bodied, what would you recommend? You know, I'd like a Maduro that's fuller bodied, wouldn't be this cigar. This exactly is a medium bodied Maduro cigar. Okay, and then there are also yeah. the magazines that you can look at, Absolute. Cigar Aficionado and all the others. All the others, yes. This cigar, this is Siri R from La Gloria Cubana. This is a really great classic cigar that's been around for a long time. Perfect for fall. This is made with an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. And by nature of that, you get a little spice in this tobacco. Not spice like you would think of with food, but a little spice, you know, in, in the smoke. And one spice of the things, with drink too, right? Yeah. So I was just going to say, this would stand up to anything from, let's say, a stout to a whiskey. Really, okay. it's, this is going to be a really great cigar to have a drink with. Let's check this one out. What is this? It's called Partagus 1845. This came out earlier this year and came out to rave reviews. People kind of just went crazy for the blend on this. This is also made with Ecuadorian Habano tobacco. Got a lot of flavor, very complex. This is made with proprietary tobacco and proprietary aging methods. So when you smoke this cigar, you actually get some flavor of cocoa and, and coffee. So it's an interesting type of smoke, um, great for after dessert. I always like to say, you know, you can have it with whatever you feel like drinking. You can have it with an espresso or you can have it with a scotch. It pairs very well with almost anything. And then we have CAO La Traviata. This came out a couple of years ago, and very much like Partagas 1845, when this cigar came out, people were going crazy for it. One of the really unique things about this cigar is that when it came out, it was the first cigar to offer an Ecuadorian Havana seed, mm -hmm. which is in the wrapper, at an affordable price point, at a lower price point. So this cigar you could get for you know five to six dollars, which is great. So I would say fall That's tailgating, really a great price. this is a great price, yeah. and the flavor will not disappoint. As you start to go towards the winter, is there another set of cigars that you would recommend? There could be. You know, some people stay, I'd say the majority of cigar smokers stay kind of in that um, medium to full bodied. Mm -hmm. But there are some people that, you know, if it's a cold winter night, will go to a really, really full bodied cigar. And that's, you know, personal preference, certainly. And for the people that are really just getting into smoking cigars, you wouldn't recommend a full bodied, especially. No. 
if you haven't had a full meal. Right. I, I no, never recommend somebody starting on a full-bodied cigar if they haven't tried before. You know, it's like anything. You kind of have to build up. You're not going to well, run a marathon in, you know, your first time out. So you, exactly, you would build yeah. up. So exactly. Well, even though this is a medium body strength, is this the strongest one on the table? Uh, I would say, say Siri, yeah, Siri R is going to be the strongest on the table. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then everything else kind of falls within that nice medium body range, so it's a really accessible taste. Okay. Profile. So which one would you recommend for someone who's just starting to get into cigars? Out of this on the table, I would try the La Traviata. The La Traviata. Yeah, okay, guys. Give that a shot. And gals. <laughs> and for all of the people out there that maybe are not experienced with this, let's cut it. Let's show people how to cut it. Okay. And then let's talk a little bit about how to light a cigar. This car is an example. This includes um, two iPads integrated into the rear of the front seats. And um, they fold down electronically on veneered.